Hello everyone, welcome to Sajo Line Academy. This is Zegech Mana. Today, team, I'm going to take you through Java control flow. We will be looking at the switch statement in Java. So, team, this is just a continuation from our previous videos that we have been doing on this playlist, which is object oriented programming using Java. So, on this playlist, we are going to learn the Java programming language itself and then we we'll learn the object or in the programming concept using Java. So team, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to this channel because it motivates us to keep on doing more videos. So please guys, don't proceed to watch this video without subscribing because it actually motivates us to keep us doing more videos. Thank you for that. Also, before I dive into this video, I want to share with you team a new laptop that we are selling, which, which is an HP Elite Book 840G4 and it's a Core i7 which comes with a 8 gig RAM and it's also a 7th generation also it have got a 256 SSD with a clock rate of 2.11 so it's a great machine to those who are doing computer science, IT, software engineering those who do programming it's a very portable machine and a very good machine it's going for 350 US dollars so if you want it just a comment in the comment section i thank you for that so tim let's dive into this video so normally we've done the if statement the if else are uh, ladder statements in java on our previous video so instead of using all those things we can use what you call a switch statement so what is switch statement and how you can use it these are things that we are going to explore and on this video i will be actually doing the practical aspect of it as well as the theoretical part of it so the java switch statement executes one statement for multiple conditions so team instead of using all those things the if else uh, if ladder statements you can actually use the switch statement where you are going to have an expression and then that expression is going to match with the cases so which are these things that we are calling uh, cases those are things that you are going to see in this video team so i'm just going to skip some of these things so that we discuss we discuss about this later when we actually finish with the the practical aspect of it so that you see what we'll be doing so this is the actually this is the syntax for the switch statement what you are going to do there you are going to have the switch keyword then the expression and this expre uh, expression can be a string can it be a number a long uh, something like that also this uh, case value you have here must match with the the expression or it must be of type of this expression so that uh, we can actually end up running the code under a certain case and then after and each every case you need to break and also you need a default case so we are going to talk about all these things what are these cases and how is it going to be executed and we are going to talk about all these things in this uh, section where we're actually doing coding so this is the project that i've created for you team and i called it switch demo so you can create yours and then you can follow along with this video or you can actually do it later uh, because it's good to practice so i'm saying team we can have maybe something like we can actually have maybe days of the week right and we want to say if n is equal to one we can say today is monday if n is equal to two we can say today uh, is so instead of using those uh, let me show you team if you are using the if statements what you are going to do and uh, i'm just going to show you using switch statement how are you going to implement that so we can have maybe if uh, uh, n is equal to one we can say um, we can say that uh, Monday or we'll just say today's Monday just like that so if I run this team what you're going to get is that you're going to get Monday so if you want to do it maybe for Tuesday maybe you want to say else if right maybe you'll be saying else if else if what maybe else if uh, n is equal to 2 then you'll be saying don't know what's happening with this as you was just trying to use so you can say uh, now uh, today's what Tuesday right today's Tuesday so if I execute this I'm going to get what if I put a two here and execute this what I'm going to get is that a uh, uh, today's Tuesday just like that so instead of doing all this we can actually have a switch statement that can do uh, this 
very short and very nice uh, very short and very precise so let me just take this one so that I can use it so you can have a switch statement in Java which is going to look like this right so here I'm going to have an expression which I'm going to pass and then the expression is just an end so I'm going to have uh, some cases maybe the case one which is going to print that uh, today it's Monday so I can have another case so whenever this expression matches with a case we're going to execute that case so I can have a case two and then I can print that uh, today's word is Tuesday we can do it for the whole week right you can do it for the whole week you can have case 3 just like that and then I'm going to show you something as well uh, at the end of this video so Tim you just need to stay around because here yeah, I'm actually only putting a break statement for a reason so I'm going to show you why you need the break statement as well so you can have case 4 under case 4 we can say maybe it's Thursday just like that right so you can do it till you reach uh, the last day so instead of wasting much of time team I think you've seen what I was talking about but you need also a default case member only an if statement you can have an else statement so we need a default case which is going to execute whenever we are not going to get any match of this option or this expression with all these cases so you need a default statement and normally it's good to put the default at the end of the switch case so normally at the end you can put a default statement maybe which says maybe which says maybe invalid input there maybe you've put invalid input there right just like that so if i execute this what i'm going to get is what it's i'm going to get Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, any valid input, just like that. Why? Because if you do not break each and every case that you are putting here, what's going to happen is that you are going to take the input, you are going to take the expression here, which is going to be two, and then we actually match it with the case. So from here, we are seeing that we have case number two, so we are going to execute. To execute case number two because we have a two here and then we are going to execute this Tuesday but just because you didn't break out of this switch statement everything down the line is going to be executed till the end of the switch statement here so to avoid that you need to break out of the switch statement that's why I said here so you need to put what a break on every after each and every what case you need to put a what a break maybe you cannot actually break out of default because it's not it's not necessary it's not necessary to break out of of default but you can also put that break statement if you put the default in between here so after doing this if i if i execute this i'm going to get what i'm going to get choose if i change this one and put a three or a four there what i'm going to get here is that uh, i'm going to get a test why because the case number is what is four so just like that instead of using if else you can actually use the switch case and on our switch case we are seeing that we are using this option or this condition and then if n is equal to four we are going to pick this case number four and whenever n is equal to three we are going to pick case number three so you can do it with the strings as well what you just need is to make sure that the file that you are going to put is going to match with the string that you are putting here it's just the same okay and then the default is always going to execute whenever i put something maybe let me put something like maybe eight here and then if i do so i'm going to get the invalid input so it's invalid input that we are going to get why because this is the what this is the default case just like that team so let's go back to our slide maybe i can now explain more uh, using my slides here so if you look at this we are saying they can be one or any number of case values for a switch expression which means for a switch ex expression you can have a lot of uh, you can have even one option or you can have a lot of cases as you have seen that here we, we have actually four cases but you can have many of them also the case values must be of switch expression type only so we are saying 
all the case value that you're going to put must match the type of this expression you are going to put here if you put a string so this case must be strings as well just like that what else uh the case values must be unique in case of duplicate value it renders compile time error so in other words you cannot have two cases with just what with just one uh with just one value so this value must be unique just like that so each case statement can have a break statement which is optional i think you've seen that you can leave this break but i'm sure you are now aware of this if you leave this break what is going to happen there and then the case value can have also a default label which is optional and then you are seeing this default label uh this default uh, label that we are talking about is optional but I think it's very good for you to put it there so that whenever someone puts something which is uh, not related to these cases, you can display that one as well. What else? I think that's all that I've actually wanted to share. This is the syntax. So this is all what, what I want to share. Don't get confused with the new syntax there in this latest also. You can just choose which one to get along with this the other one, which will be using the arrow operators. If you can can actually quickly google about it but i think this is the basics of the switch statement if you get this you are good to go and you can use it anywhere you want i think uh, that's all that what i wanted uh, to express on this video so tim thank you for watching this video and you to up to this end so if you actually get inspired with this video if you liked this video guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can motivate us to do more video and uh you know without you we cannot make it so please click that subscribe button